setting up the table for a patient in a lateral position for total hip or kid, uh, nephrectomy, removal of the kidney. First thing we're going to do is uh, gauge the patient's length. In this case, we have a female uh, short. We want to line her hip up right here in the, for the kidney flex. So I'm going to actually remove the head section, replace that with a dual articulating head section, and remove this section so we get proper articulation of the headrest for her position. Removing the second section to shorten the table. Placing a uh, universal adapter on the table for the dual articulating headrest uh, in this case, which requires uh, the adapter. Again, to place the adapter just like the sections, just male, male, female, and lock in place, and the, the adapter is locked into place. All right. Adding the dual articulating headrest onto the table, and then tightening down. We have the table set up now, the proper length for the patient uh, to be positioned. I'm going to lower the table down to place the patient on the table. Patient is, obviously, uh, anesthesia is administered in the supine position, and then we roll the patient onto their side. In this case, we have a dual articulating headrest, and we adjust the headrest up to meet her neck, so her neck is straight and she's in a safe position. First arm board is placed on the table for the lower arm, standard uh, arm board. The second arm board required will be a planing arm board to take the other arm across the top. The second arm board, planing arm board, is placed above the first arm board, and then her arm would be placed onto the arm board and strapped down. Lateral positioners, of course, can be placed on the table using a side rail clamp and positioning it against the hip. Padding should be placed against the bony prominence of the knee and or the ankles, um, and we're ready for total hip. Uh, to do a nephrectomy, we are going to now flex the patient into the kidney position via the, via the hand control. Via the kidney flex but button, which is here, we can flex the patient in increments to the flex position for a nephrectomy. The table safely flexes her into the position. You can add reverse Trendelenburg, obviously adjust the table for lateral tilt, and get additional flex via the back down position. And you've got good exposure for removal of the kidney.